Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well. I recently purchased a few sizes and styles of the Essentials Fear of God sweatpants and I wanted to review the sizing of it and hopefully help you decide what size to get when you are ordering it online. Let's get into it. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products just like this one today. So if you like that kind of content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button right down below. It would help me out so much. I truly appreciate all your support, especially those who are returning back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about the Essentials Fear of God sweatpants sizing because I ordered a few of them from Essence just to try them on. They had a few of the sweatpants on sale, so I decided to purchase one. Actually, my goal was to have two pair of sweatpants that I, I needed, but um, I actually, you'll see in the video that I only went with one, and you'll kind of see why, and obviously it's to do with sizing. So I have purchased Essentials clothing before, and the first time that I bought pants from them were these cargo nylon pants that I no longer have. And I bought those in a size medium, which I think at the time was probably my true to size. And they were a little bit slim and that was kind of the look I was going for. So they fit perfectly. But I wasn't sure what the case was for sweatpants. So I decided to purchase a few again from Essence and I did so. So I wanted to kind of go over my findings and what ultimately I will be going with. Uh, you know, after this video is done, you can, you can see which pair of sweatpants I went with. Let's talk a little bit about the materials first. So all the sweatpants I purchased are 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And when you feel these sweatpants are actually quite thick and that's probably the cotton portion of the mix here. And I like it. I think it's, it's, you know, it's really soft on the inside. It has a fleece to it. They have, you know, this like rubber patch here and they have, you know, that embroidery as well, but super thick. It feels like pretty good quality. And these are the other ones that I purchased as well. So same thing, thick thick material and I feel like it'd be perfect for like a really cold winter day here in Toronto. And this is kind of what motivated me to purchase a couple because the weather right now is we just got like 30 centimeters of snow the other day. So I actually purchased it on that day and um, the quality I would say is top notch. Let's talk about the different styles that you can get in the Essentials sweatpants. So the two that we're going to be talking about today are the relaxed lounge pants and then also just the lounge pants. And then on the website, when I look through, there's actually another one called the cotton lounge pants. And I'll talk about that a little more in the end of the video. So in terms of sizing, the first thing I wanted to say is I'm typically a size large women's for sweatpants. I am about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, uh, in height. And then also I have a pretty small waist and large hips. So I just want you to take that into consideration when I'm telling you what my experience has been in terms of sizing with this company. So let's talk about the lounge pants and how the sizing went for me. I purchased this in a size large and extra large just to be safe. And I, when I tried on the extra large, it was way too big for me. It was way too long for me uh, is another point as well. And I just didn't like all that like bunching at the bottom of uh, like on top of my shoe and my ankle area. So I decided that when I tried on the large, I found, as you can see in this video here, I found that it kind of fit me perfectly. It had, it was a little bit baggy, but also had, somewhat of a slimmer leg, which is kind of something that I'm a little bit used to in my sweatpants. So I would say for the lounge pants, I would go for a large, which is my true to size. So in terms of the relaxed lounge pants, when I was looking online on the website, I did notice that on the models, the, the length of these pants seemed quite long. So, you know, it's the same kind of features for this pants. The only difference 
from the lounge pants and the relaxed lounge pants is that this has like an open wide uh, pant leg all the way down so there's no cuff to me it kind of looks a little bit flared but that could just be something that I'm seeing <laughs> to my eye this is what it looks like when I tried on the extra large and I just thought it was way too big for me a lot of excess um, pant leg at the bottom there which I wasn't like super thrilled about I almost had to pull the actual like pants right under <laughs> like almost to my chest area just to get the length that I actually wanted so I said the extra large is way too big for me and then I tried on the large and take a look at how the large looked on me I thought it actually seemed okay when I first tried it on I wasn't like a hundred percent sold on the sizing so I did try um, you know try it on a couple more times at different times look in the mirror kind of try to style it a little bit I would typically wear my sweatpants at home and I just thought you know the excess length would just be really annoying for me to kind of like step on when I'm walking and things like that so ultimately I decided not to keep these although I do love the color and you know how it kind of looked on me I generally when I buy sweatpants I liked a little bit of a tapered look so this like baggy look for me is kind of new and I wasn't convinced on it so I decided not to keep this you know relaxed pair for myself however I think if I were to buy this style again I probably would go down a size so if you're looking at the relaxed lounge pants then I would suggest that you go down one size from your true to size as I mentioned earlier in the video there's another style that I saw online called the cotton lounge pants and I didn't take in all these different names it was kind of like a little bit overwhelming because all the pants kind of looked the same but then I was you know as I was like prepping for this video I was looking on their website and noticed that the cotton lounge pants seemed like a middle ground for me from being really baggy on the relaxed lounge pants to the perfect length so the cotton lounge pants I think for me would kind of be the best compromise so I'm actually going to try that when there is a color that I like in stock for that and I will try that in my true to size because I don't think it'll be as baggy and I still want them to be a little bit loose on me so when I try that maybe I'll update the video or update my blog post just so that you kind of know what size to get so there is the I wanted to know there is the cotton lounge pants and I will go true to size for that as well when a color of that I'm interested in is available on the Essence website. So to review, it really depends on what type of style and how baggy you want your sweatpants to be. I know that, you know, baggy sweatpants are kind of in right now. Uh, just for me, it's not something that I want to look for. I hate when the extra like material is dragging under my foot, especially when I'm at home and just kind of lounging around. But if that is what you are looking for, where you want the baggy look I would say go for the relaxed lounge line and then go probably a size down otherwise the length will be quite long if you go true to size and then if you want something that's a little bit more fitted to you a little a little baggy but not too baggy I would say go for either the cotton lounge line or just the regular lounge line and I think you could go to your true to size for that and see how that goes. The last thing that I wanted to note was that the sizing on Essence's website, when you compare the exact same pants for women and men, the measurements are slightly off, maybe like half an inch to an inch. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So I actually purchased it from the women's line because I'm a woman and I just thought it would fit me a little bit better. What I thought was interesting when I opened the package and the tag was on there is that it says men. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually says men on there, which I thought was kind of interesting because I did purchase it from the women's section of their website. And even when you compare the exact same clothing, as I mentioned before, they're different like sizing, they're different measurements altogether, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know if this was a mistake from Essence or if this is just how the sizing is. Maybe it's a unisex sizing and 
they just haven't changed the tags. I'm not really sure. Let me know if you do know what is happening here. But I do suspect that like a large men's would probably not fit me, would be really big on me. Cause tr like true to size, I am a large women's in like every other company that, you know, is selling sweatpants that I have. So I do suspect that this is probably women's sizing. Maybe the tag is just wrong. I don't really know. If you do know, let me know because I think it's kind of an interesting mystery to me. But I did want to note that as well. Uh, I did purchase from the women's side on Essence. When I got all the pants, they all have this men's tag on it. So I just wanted to note that as well. I hope this video was a little bit clearer. I think on my blog post, it'll be a little bit more clearer. So you would definitely want to check that out. It will be linked below. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what your opinions are on the Essential Sphere of God sweatpants sizing. And this is purely just from my experience in trying on the different sizes that I purchased from the website. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.